Here are five things that I do before every pull request that I create. Number one, I read my own code like a stranger. Number two, I remove console.logs from all my code. Console.logs are not intentionally there, but we use them to debug whenever we're working locally. Number three, I add comment to a logic if it's not obvious so that it helps me to like communicate to the other engineers what I'm trying to achieve with a specific function or with a specific variable name. I also check for small UI bugs whenever I'm trying to raise a pull request. So I'm testing the functionality which I'm trying to work on, but at the same time i'm checking that i haven't break existing logic or i haven't break existing functionality this is something that we should have covered if you already have tests in your application and tests cannot be written for all use cases in your application so sometimes manual testing is needed last but not the least if you actually have some linting rule it's necessary to actually run your linter rule and also run your test like i said earlier you might have some test cases which might have covered existing functionality that you are working on or might have covered some particular aspect of it so by running your linter and your test you're actually sure that you have actually like write the codes to the specific structure or some specific LinkedIn rule that is specified in your project and also all your existing tests and the new tests that you've actually had it actually passing and if you followed all these five steps that I've actually listed you get zero minimal comment from fellow engineers when you actually open your pull request I hope you learned something new today and see you on the next one